we are actually going to do this. I know I've talked about it like a million times, at least with people here on Twitch, but we're actually doing it. We're playing Super Auto Pets. If you don't know how to play, don't worry. Literally, neither do I. I know that every week they come out with a different pack, so we're just going to do the weekly, and we're going to play it like two or three times, and we're going to see if we can master it. So the way that this works, as I understand it, we can buy a pet for three gold. Fantastic. Then we can get new pets in the shop by rolling for one gold. And we can, we're starting here with a cockroach and a pill bug. We also have 10 gold to spend. We have five hearts. If we lose all our hearts, we die. It's turn number one. And we need to get 10 trophies. There's also some food that we need to buy. So start of turn, the cockroach sets the attack to the current shop tier plus one. I got no idea what that means, but we got two cockroaches, so we're going roach strat. The shop tier gets up. We're not even worried about what the pill bug does. We're not capable of that. We want to get up to three pets. We got three more gold. We might as well get another guy. You sell a kiwi. You get a random strawberry friend, a plus one attack, plus two health. No idea what that means. We did, we're not running pill bugs because we're not capable of it. We will buy a mouse. When we sell it, we're going to get a free apple. That sounds delightful. Time to test your team by having a friendly battle with another team. Thank you so much, Tutorial. Let's go into it. Oh, now we pick our name. We are going to be the Desolate Pieces. That's fine. We run it. The tier is the number of dice on the top of the pets. So I get some bonus for this guy. This guy has a cone snail. All right, I would like to play. I actually would like you to autoplay if possible. And you might as well do it quick, because we might have some professional gamers that understand what's going on. So we have lost our first battle. I think the first couple are, like, kind of random, but not entirely sure, okay? We don't sweat it. It was our first battle. Oh, look at that! So we got some extra attack. We got one extra attack per roach because our shop tier is, is number one. Okay, buy food for your pets. Give one pet the strawberry perk. This will enable strawberry abilities. Does anybody have any idea what this means? Also, apologies to European viewers who are, are having quite a difficult time here. We're going full roach mode. We're roaching out of our mind. We also... Look, we just roll again. We can get a duck. We can get a kiwi. We can get a bluebird. End of turn, give one random friend attack. All right, let's run with a bluebird for now. We could always sell this mouse to get an apple. Team is full. Choose one to sell. Okay, I'll let you... You know what? We can combine them. No one has any idea what strawberries do, so I'm not the only one that's, that doesn't know anything. We can combine two pets together and then get another one. If we sell a random strawberry friend, we'll get help. Wait, so if I buy a strawberry and I have a kiwi, then my strawberry... Do we get into the... Let's get into the strawberries, you know? I'm going to give somebody a strawberry perk. No, it's stupid. We're just buying a duck. All right, end my turn. Let's go. Roach, strongest in the... Fr no, I didn't mean to combine them. I just wanted to switch their position. No, I wanted the strongest roach in the front. All right, now somehow we've unlocked other things that we could try to use. Start of the battle, make people weak, or start of the turn, give the leftmost shops, pets, a little bit of extra, you know? That might be useful. We freeze it for the next turn. And now we accidentally, we're running kind of an accidental team. I wish I had an extra pet. Let's see. Classic auto pets blunder. All right. As long as I'm not the first to ever do it. But I got a super roach. And my super roach did an insane amount of damage. But somehow this moth, the moth was kind of incredible for them. They're lucky I blundered. They are lucky that we they get a draw out of that. Okay. I've reached turn three. This means I've unlocked tier two pets. So now look at all these fun guys that we can get. Also, they give me a heart back because they feel kind of bad for me. I appreciate it. So we're going to get a dromedary at the start. No, wait, maybe it's not as good as I thought it was. If a friend levels up, they get more stuff. We're going to run it. So at the start of the turn, the leftmost shop pets will get a bonus. So after this round, my two pets here will be stronger than any of my opposition could ever predict. Okay, we go here. We could get a frigid bird. Friend gains a ailment. You give it rice. Works one time per turn. So they will get the right, which gives me money, apparently. African penguin. You buy it, three random friends gain attack. I've seen a lot of my competitors have this one. Start a battle. Give the nearest friend behind two health. I can understand why people are running it. Mouse, you disappear. We want a cone snail, and I don't know that the roach is going to make it for a long time. 
But the roach is carrying for now. Let's put this on the roach. We got a mega roach that's going to get even stronger because it's going to get extra health every single turn because of this cone guy. I love it. Let's run it. End with excess. No, no, no. We got to spend all our gold. We got some penguins. I don't even know what I'm rolling for. I could, I could give somebody broccoli. A little less attack, but a lot more health. <clears throat> Riddle me this. This guy only has one health. Is he really going to drop to zero health if I give him broccoli? Watch this. Absolutely not. He gets to maintain one. Jokes on the game. I've exploited everything. The health from the cone resets after battle. Oh, no. So this is going to give my roach health. But it's not going to be a nine forever. It's not a permanent bonus. It's a temporary bonus. This roach, though, is kind of goaded. The roach strats are, are really taking some names out here today, okay? My roach is kind of bodying everybody. I've got my first trophy in my auto pets career. I'm feeling great about it. So now I could add the duck to the duck. I guess the, oh, these two got the buff from the drama then. So this is a better bat than you've ever, ever seen before in your life. As much as I like the bluebird, I think we're, we're getting rid of bluebird. We're going to try out a bat. We're going to add a duck here, okay? One more duck. We get a level two duck. We roll. They're giving me a lot of worms. We're not figuring strawberries out in the first time we've ever done this. We now have the opportunity to get a Hercules beetle. You sell it, and it gives friends front to back an extra attack for every battle it's fought. I will hydrate for Manjaro. So riddle me this. If we use the Hercules beetle... We would just, it's just there for several rounds, and then a bunch of people would get a bunch of extra attack. I see the appeal. I don't know what I would want to sell. I would have to sell, like, my dromedary. Let's go. We're going, we're going a little more offensive here, okay? Let's not be a coward about it. Let's put the beetle in the front. Let's do one more roll. I don't think we're running with any of those. This is my team now. This is my team. It's the one I got. The bat gives them COVID, so it weakens. So what is, let's see what the bat does. Going up against, against the inedible jackets. They have a gigantically strong crow or something. We literally had no chance. We have been defeated. A snail has broken my heart. And we carry on. We're on turn five. A lot of new possibilities here. Starting with a giraffe and a meerkat. At the start of the battle, give adjacent friends attack for every three gold spent this turn. So I'm going to spend, I'm going to get three attack every turn because that's what I'm spending. Or end of turn, give the friend ahead attack and health. Riddle me this. Is this permanent? If this is permanent, we could get some insane scaling going on. We're also going to Bat City. We're just, we're simply going to Bat City. Wait, just, I just want to make sure this doesn't disappear. For some weird reason. We're going to Bat City. This is unlocked tier fours out of nowhere. End of turn gives the friend behind some attack and some health. It does make a lot of sense. It seems like a sensible, strong unit. We would have to give up something. We're going to run with this guy. We're running with a giraffe. The giraffe is permanent. So every turn, give the nearest friend ahead. It's every turn going to make this bat stronger and we're going to make the bat really strong now i would like to actually go sea lion look duck i guess we duck you're not going to make it forever the sea lion is taking your place forget the meerkat it's probably cool at the end of turn gives friends behind extra attack and health so we put him in the front friends behind is it the two friends or all the friends I don't know. This doesn't make any sense. But if it's only two friends, you might as well make it those two. Let's see how many. It's all of them. Wonderful. Okay, so now we know that it's all of them. If it was only two, I just wanted these two to get the buff. The Fallen Mushrooms. We have a chance. This looks like a mighty strong team. We've weakened them with our Mega Bat. Bat is in there. Bat's going crazy. This thing is pretty strong, but not strong enough to defeat us. Let's go. Victory. We have done it. I cannot believe it. All right, we sold this thing that's over that's dead to us. End of turn, give nearest friend ahead plus four, plus four until the end of battle. So not permanently. It's a pretty big early buff, though. Actually, you guys can just go back here now. We're running with this. We're running Sea Lion in the front. Now I have no idea what I'm looking for. 
I could give someone the cucumber perk and they'll gain one health at the end of every turn. So just permanent health buff. I think we can do a little bit better. I'm tempted to figure out what strawberry means. We could get a cassowary. If it has a strawberry friend, it gains attack and health. So we could put a cassowary in and then give somebody a strawberry and this would gain plus one, plus one every single turn. Then we could position it behind the giraffe and this thing would get like insanely strong. Sea lion gives health ahead. You might want to move it to the back at some point. Why would I ever put this guy at the back? He's making everybody here stronger. And then, like, I guess he gets weak and he dies or something? We're not going cassowary. I don't know. A flea? <coughs> we could make them weak. We already got a bat, though. I don't think we need a flea and a bat. We could get a tropical fish and, and make the adjacent pets get more health. I mean, this is maybe the next... The, maybe the roach and this guy, at some point, we're going to have to ditch him. I don't know. Is it worth using some meat bone? Make things even strong? You know what? Just put some meat bone on the bat. Why not? Now he does an extra plus three. If, if friends eat food, it gives them health or something. It gives the rabbit health. We could try that. A weasel, if they faint, we get gold on the next turn. We could swap the attack and the health of a pet with one of those. We see some magpies. Spend up to one gold and gain it back next turn. Well, obviously, we're always going to spend one turn. Give one pet the croissant perk. They get an extra attack at the end of turn. Okay. I don't know that all these pets are going to live here forever. I think you're going to be here for a minute. So now your, your attack is going to go up slowly over time. We get stronger every turn. We're scaling out of control. Our bat is going to be turned into just a mega monster bat. The attractive poets. They got a 13, 16 jellyfish and everything else is a joke. So if we can get past their big unit, which apparently we cannot, <laughs> we would have some chance. They just had one unit that was way too strong for us to handle. Okay, fair enough. Now we have reached turn number seven. We've unlocked tier four pets. So we might see some crazy things. We got a microbe. Make all pets weak, which we already got because of the... No, this makes two weak. It doesn't make them all weak. All right, we got to figure out what we're doing here. I don't know. I'm cycling until I see something more interesting. A lobster. Friend summoned. If outside of battle gets extra attack and health, maybe somebody could convince me to go for this. I just don't quite understand. I could do a little more fried shrimp. We get another bat. I don't know that this bat is actually going to be leveling up. Give one pet the pie perk. He gained 4-4 four, four health before the start of each battle. It just That seems reasonable. Uh, an owl. It summons a level 1 mouse at the start of turn. So I guess it just summons a pet like in the front or something. Owl makes some sense. I don't know what we're doing with the bat, but let's just go with that. A penguin, end of turn. Give level two friends plus one plus one. This actually would help us scale even more. If we let's we might invest more into scaling just for fun. And I don't think we're rolling with any of these things. Okay, let's just let's try this. It seems like the goal of the game is to scale and get just one super duper mega pet. I just haven't found the right one. Once I find the right guy, we'll scale him out of control and we'll go nuts here. We just got to make it that far. All right, Bat, it's a lot up to you. Elephant never had a chance. Never had a chance. Okay, here we go. We're back in business. So if we want a penguin, we got to sell somebody. So we're going to be doing an insane amount of scaling, but all of our, all of our homies here are going to be kind of weak. Beetle, I regret to inform you, your, your time has come to an end. If I sell, I get a chocolate. Not even sure what that does. So this penguin is going to watch. Should we, we could scale the penguin in a funny way, but no, just keep scaling this bat. I hope the bat is a good pet because we're really committing quite a lot to it. Uh, let's see if we can get anything else. Also, I mean, like, I don't really know. Apple, it's three gold. It's, it's not the most. I'm just tossing some food on here. A pear is is just a super apple. We should be doing pears and not apples, okay? We're hoping, we're pinning a lot of hope here on this bat. It's getting a lot of buffs every turn. We're just, we're full buffing a bat and hoping that a single bat can carry us all the way to victory. The shiny mammals is who we're competing against. Let's see if they have what it takes. We're crazy, we're crazy. We have won a game. All right, we've won three, lost three. Now we it's time that we start kicking this into high gear if we want to actually win. 
But we get to turn nine. Now there could be some super pets that maybe we can go for. We got a monkey. This also appears to be a scaling pet. You put them in the, the rightmost friends gain stuff. Could we have a team where literally all we do is scale a bat? <laughs> I sell the roach. I bring in the monkey. Hear me out. Every single thing scales the bat. Literally every single troop scales the bat. But the bat has to be in the end. No, it has to be in the front. Allow me to get creative with the format. Now, the giraffe gives the nearest friend a buff. Oh, you only give friends behind a buff. You only give the rightmost friend a buff. I no longer need the sea lion. <laughs> okay. That being said, I could improve my sea lion. But I no longer feel as... It feels, it feels unnatural not to. Okay, we're going for it. There's a moose. If we unfreeze the shop, it'll give random pets health. I no longer like my sea lion. I know I just buffed you, but I've made a grave a grave mistake, okay? It's the first time, so we will allow it. Now, if we sell ones in here, good things will happen. So we keep you frozen. We will buff our... We'll buff you next time. We'll buff you to level two next time. Then we'll have two level twos, and our penguin will be able to do some crazy stuff. Oh, everything is going to be unfrozen, though, isn't it? Wait... These guys are just going to unfreeze. Watch, because I have a moose. So it's all going to unfreeze anyway. I can never freeze anything. I got to get it on the turn I want. The sea lion buffs the right animal's health. Wait, you're telling me the sea lion could have been wherever, man? I got rid of a poor, innocent sea lion that was actually doing a lot? Once you get past my bat, it's kind of all over for me. Now, I wasn't expecting to win, <coughs> but I'm definitely not dead yet, okay? There's still some hope for this team. I don't think we cannot afford to lose anymore. I'm sure not everybody wins every single battle that they do. Here we go. Level two giraffe. This means that it gives the two nearest friends. So you're going to buff the moofs and the bat. We could get a Komodo. Gives friends a head plus one. And then it shuffles their position. I find that humorous. I would like to give it a try. Because it is humorous. But I'm not sure about it. Start of battle. Give coconut perk to one random strawberry friend. We don't have one of those. This is the team, okay? This is make or break. We gotta, we gotta make this one work. We no longer have a cockroach. We simply need things to just be stronger. Why don't you randomly get stronger? Uh, and I don't have any level ones. My moves is completely useless, okay? Maybe not the greatest turn. This is it. Make or break. Can we survive, or is this the last round of our first game of Super Auto Pets? Let's find out. Very strong bat. The bat is carrying. It's a mighty weapon. The bat has taken us through to another round. Four out of ten trophies. I feel good about it. We've reached turn 11. Now we can get the tier six, which feels like it should be the last tier. The carrot perk? Do we, do, we, do we slow down and give somebody a carrot perk? We freeze the one. We could give someone a pie perk. <laughs> Eat a carrot. They're very healthy for you. We got a sauropod. We got a tyrannosaurus. Gives three tier five friends a whole bunch of stats. I wish we had some of those. I don't see any need to continue with this line. I think we're going to die. <laughs> I'm kind of committed to the idea that we might be dead here. Um, just, there you go. One more roll. This could be huge. A pair is fine. Let's see if we make it. One more round. Can we make it through? Here we go. The desolate pieces versus the square tools. They got a good squad up front. 
My bat needs to take out both of these frontliners to have a chance, and the moose does some serious work. You know, somehow, some way, we've put together a real squad here. We're halfway to victory, but we're on our very last life. <laughs> Let's see if we can do this. Give one pet the pancake perks. Gives friends plus two plus two before the start of the battle. He gives it to the friends. Well, Penguin, you're, you're, you're getting pancaked, okay? Enjoy your pancake. It might be responsible to pick up like a troop that actually does damage. Not sure, not sure how you guys feel about it. This is so much, though. It buffs it so much. We need something more, though. Yeah, many people are reporting having issues with Twitch today, so apologies to literally everybody. We're going with a cow. I know how the cow operates. Watch this. Here's how the cow goes. You put the cow here, we lose our monkey, but now we get some mega milk. We're going to boost the moose. Then we're going to sell the cow. And you know what? We're just going to put a strong unit in the game. We're going gorilla. It gains the coconut perk. It ignores damage once. If it gets hurt, it gets the coconut perk. Ah, so we need it to actually get hurt in order for it to work. Uh, other than that, we don't have any level ones. We don't have a whole lot going on. This is it. Moose in the back. No, Penguin, you're going to... You, you, you got this. All right, here we go. We run it again. Stream on YouTube. Just, suddenly I'm on YouTube and I'm doing my first ever Super Auto Pets. Also, when is somebody going to tell me that I'm, like, blocking some very crucial information? <laughs> Where do I belong? Maybe I belong up high or something? Maybe I belong up here. This Maybe this is a more sensible location. People got to tell me these things. I have one? Wait, I wasn't paying any attention. We were like so dead, but now we can't be stopped. <laughs> Let's go. All right. Penguin, boost. You're on the team forever. This is you're my forever squad for some reason. None of you guys matter. A pair? A pair is an amazing thing. Honestly, I think if we the gorilla was even stronger, it might somehow be good for us. Uh, Bat, there, enjoy your level three. Congratulations to the level three club. I've, I've unlocked an achievement that you can't see because I'm always blocking in the exact optimal worst location. I think I belong over here. Am I right or wrong? We have, once we figure it out once, bloop, then we'll be, we'll have it right for life. We got nothing else. There's a lot of level ones. That's good because we got a moose. YouTube streams are working. I could stream on YouTube. Should I just do super auto pet streams on YouTube? I belong down here. This is this. No, then I'm blocking something else. I don't know. I don't know where I belong. We'll look into it, but we're kind of unstoppable. Just, oh no. Oh, draw. Draw is fine. Draw is fine. We're somehow, our first run is not over. We got a moose. All right. We put the moose up here. We freeze this because we remember that we have a moose. We freeze this because we remember that we got a moose. Just, you got to be a little stronger. Have a little meat on your bones. I'm worried that if we re we could re-roll, try to get ones, get health. But you know what, Gorilla? Welcome to the squad, bro. We treat you real good around here. We go again. Let's figure out if this is it. Penguin is holding this team down. <laughs> People loving the penguins. Desolate pieces versus the hard believers. Any hard? Oh, that nope. Nope. What the heck is this team? Oh my god, we actually got through. We can't get through this guy. Literally, I mean, congrats to this team. That this that team was way too strong for me. We made it 14 turns. But there you go. That was my first ever Super Auto Pets experience. So I get a reward. I get a baseball hat. That's pretty sweet. I also have got a sombrero. Pretty cool. We run it again, okay? We're gonna we're gonna do it two more times. We're gonna see if we can make this work. Now we know how to play the game. Now we're ready to do this. We do a mouse. Start a battle, nearest friend gets two health. I love that. Friend hurt ahead. If the friend ahead hurt, gets hurt, it does some sort of perk. I, I love that. I think that's fine. We save you, we save you, we run it again. Here we go. We are going to be the fragile pieces. You know how fragile those pieces you can can be. Take care of your pieces, everybody. And we're going up against the snooty nuts. Let's see if we have what it takes to take them down. Running into these guys. They are insane. 
I don't know what I could have done different. They have absolutely and easily destroyed me in round one. Congratulations. We double everybody. It's the same squad only doubled. <laughs> if the friend ahead gets hurt though, we're in, we're in business. Trust me. No, watch this. We go like that, okay? Because these things have more health. So if the mouse gets hurt, the moth gets more bonus. Roll me one more time. We're going nuts with the cone snails. Here we go again. This is the weekly. It's also my first time ever playing. So I don't know. If it becomes a cool thing, and maybe if YouTube likes it, maybe we just run the weekly every day. I don't know. Maybe it becomes a thing. Maybe people hate it. Maybe, maybe we don't know. We lose again. <coughs> Here we go. Tier 2 pets have been updated. They always take pity on me. I always get a life back. You go here, level 2. Wait, maybe I should save it and level up on, like, turn 5 or something? You add you in here. We got a crazy team going on. We could even add a Hercules beetle. I don't know that it actually did that much for us, but I'm interested in it. I'm a little bit interested in a tropical fish. You know, let's try a little tropical fish. Let's do this. Watch this. Tropical fish here. You go here. So if my tropical fish gets hurt, the moth gets more health. And this gives health to my two strongest things. And then for some reason, we got some mice at the end. Because we haven't figured out what to do with them yet. That's fine with me. We pick up another mouse. Dromedary is probably pretty good, but let's go. Sap is amazing. Also, backpack battles. Yeah, if people like this, there's a lot of other games we can pivot into. We're going up against a, a two-squatted team, but they gotta—they understand the strawberry strategy. But come on, get owned. You can't get past the mice. He, he only had two people on his whole team, man. They were incredible. But he only had two people. All right, look at this. Now we can go nuts. I Here we go. We want to level up on the next turn, I think. I'm going to save this. I will level this one mouse up. Look, I'll even take another tropical fish. I feel like it's working out pretty well for us. I do like the bluebirds. Kind of. Nah, but we don't need any bluebirds. We could go broccoli. What would we do? Put broccoli on a mouse? That doesn't make any sense. We could go snails. If you lost the last battle, you gain... Everybody gets health. Permanently? I'm not rooting for me to lose, <laughs> but let's go a little snail strat. Why not? Well, maybe, maybe the snails can work out for us. All right. We did not lose the last battle, so the snail didn't do anything amazing for us. Why are you freezing animals you already have and don't upgrade immediately? I'm trying to wait for turn five. If you do it on turn on the odd turns, you can upgrade to the tier ahead and get insanely strong units. This is my understanding from watching Super Auto Pets, but not actually playing. Did a little homework for today's episode. I pick up my next trophy. So now that it's turn five, we reach tier three pets. But now if I upgrade this, I get tier a tier four pet, right? Right, so I get a whole tier ahead. So you always, on the on turns like five and seven, that's when you want to be upgrading things to get the bonus. So no, nobody else could have these unless they also leveled up on turn five here with me. And in start of turn, give a random strawberry friend. I haven't seen any strawberries. The sea lion was a good member of the team. I can definitely, I can see the sea lion getting back into this. This would require me to give somebody up, which is the mouse, even though the mouse is level two. We sell it because we get an apple. We get the sea lion, which I guess doesn't have to be in the front. Gives friends behind. It's going in the front. Now, who is our super all-star unit? Is it the fish? Is it the moth? Is it the snail? Is it the slug? We got to use this apple on somebody. We're slugging up. I don't, I don't love this, but we're doing this. My, this is my highest tier unit, so you know what? Enjoy this totally free apple. That's the end of my turn. Uh, I don't know. Friend ahead gets hurt. This guy has a lot of health, so if this guy gets hurt, he might get hurt a couple times, and then that would buff this guy a few extra times. Wait, but you need to be here. You're going to buff those two. That's fine. Yeah, you're going to do that. That's going to be fine. Cool. <coughs> 
we didn't lose the last round, so we got no no use for the slug. <laughs> if you never lose, you never need a slug. The sandwich investors. Looks, they got a fine team. This could be close, but I think we're going to get them here. We were too strong. All it took me was literally one game, and now I'm, I've, I've really understand, okay? We're doing better, at least in these early rounds. Wait, you are live? Yes, I've been live. EU viewers are, are out of shape here today. Uh, the, it just Twitch hates you. If you're in Europe, Twitch hates you. I have gotten the Jeroboa. Give friends plus one and plus health if it eats an apple. The team that just crushed us had one of these. This could be a wild, wild one. I'm very interested in a Jeroboa, just to give a crack at that. Might have to give away a slug for it. If I see some apples, we might give it a go. We might, we might try it. I'm, I'm waiting. I'm interested in the idea. I'm not running it yet, but I'm interested in the idea. Have a croissant. What do I care? Not seeing any apples. We can't really do much. We can go insane with the fish. Why not go insane with the fish? Let's go insane with the fish like you've never believed. I'm freezing everybody. Is there a worm? I believe there is a worm in the weekly. I believe we have seen the worm. I freeze every pet in the whole store. This is Super Auto Pets if you're just joining. It is free. It's on Steam. I think there's also a browser version. There's your worm. The worm is in full effect. And the worm is, I guess, insane. There's something about the worm I don't know, but the fish comes in clutch and the snail saves the draw. We'll take a draw. No shame in that. Worms generate cheap apples. So I want a worm so that I can get more apples and then I want a Jeroboa and a worm. Now we're getting into some serious brand new territory here. First off, you're, you've never seen a tropical fish like the one you're about to see. Start of turn... Give a random frozen shop. Wait, that's a lot. Plus four, plus four. That's a lot. And we're not figuring out strawberries today. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to tell you. <sighs> that's a lot. Give one random frozen frozen pet. I So I keep the Jeroboa frozen for a turn, and then he's going to get even... Look. Get owned. You go here. <sighs> we, we get an apple... We keep the Jeroboa. He's, he's frozen for one turn. Just believe in the system. We mega fish. <laughs> we got this. We got this. This, he's going to get a plus four, plus four, because we have a polar bear. Watch. We have a decent team, and next turn, it's about to go insane. Next turn, we're really going to pop off, okay? We're going up against the iconic ghosts, who has the disrespect to run a four-player team against me. It looks like they're preparing to go nuts on their next turn, and yet they still might somehow defeat me. Psych! We have taken them down. Keep giving me teams that don't have five people, please, if you don't mind. I want to keep playing another Jeroboa. I want to play all of the teams that are about to get... <laughs> they're all bracing for the next round. Those are the people that I want. Now, this is tough. We have to part with somebody. It's the sea lion or it's the moth. Sea lion, you're, you're continuing to buff us. We don't mind. I think we're getting rid of the moth. Moth, you did a lot of work. I appreciate everything you've done. You're going to get updated. Now, when I give you an apple, I think this is my team. I give you an apple, what happens? Everybody goes nuts. Everybody feasts. That's actually pretty incredible. I guess we're not going bad or flea. We're looking for some apples. So now, the way to get cheaper apples is to get a worm. So if we see a worm, that, that's something that interests us. Nothing else matters to us. That interests us. This is the order. We might as well upgrade this guy now. Cone Snail, you've been doing. Give the nearest friend behind a plus four. It's very curious, isn't it? It's so curious. But that's only for the start of the battle. Okay, this is fine. This is the order. We run it like this. Cool. <coughs> Here we go. Fragile pieces versus the untouched fossils. They got a cow. They got a huge fish. I also have a huge fish. I got a Jeroboa. It's bigger than their Jeroboa. I got the Jeroboa your mama warned you about. And I have taken you out. Way better. Look at this. We're halfway done. This is as far as we got last time. So we're feeling pretty good about this. Look at these apples. Oh my god. 
and it's turn nine, so I get a tier above. Tier six, Komodo. Give friends a head, some bonuses, and then shuffle them, which is hilarious, I, I gotta say. End turn, give future shot pets plus two, plus two. I don't know how much we're shopping. We get, we're going nuts with the Jeroboa. It is, it, something could be upgraded here. It might be time to get rid of the cone snail and, and do something funny. I think this is a funny unit. I think we, we go here. Everyone gets a buff. Everyone gets a buff. Jeroboa goes insanely hard. All that we, we need from here is like a worm or something. And we're going to be going just, just insane. But I'm feeling strong. Like, we're getting strong very quick. This is, this is scaling very quickly. We're going up against the ballistic heads. They got a very strong worm, and that's it. And they've put it in the middle. We are going to get through this worm. Come on, get through the worm. Jeroboa is strong. The stream works. European viewers are back. <laughs> Let's go. Here we go. Now, we chocolate seems very useful. We could actually make use of it immediately. This is going to level up the fish. Do we want a Komodo or do we want this? I think shuffling is hilarious. So we're going to be running with that for a little bit. And now I guess we're just rolling for like apples or things that might level up people that we already got. I don't think we're switching. We could go back to a moose, but we're not going moose this time. Pears, that's not going to get it done. We could bring in a monkey, but we're not bringing in a monkey. We're not doing any of this. Where are my apples? Excuse me, where are the apples? Shout out to Israel. Chocolate. I don't know what I would level up. It just seems like always useful. But it might be more important to just try to get an apple. Just an apple! Literally just, there was nothing. What a horrible, horrible turn. But we move on, okay? Hopefully we're so strong, we're so far ahead that one bad turn doesn't slow us down. Let's figure out. I'm worried about getting stuck where it's like I'm no longer actually improving my team. Like, a cassowary is destroying me? How is that possible? This guy's got a super leveler team. We make a draw. We, a draw is very good there. I, a draw against that team, I, I'm very happy with it. Turn 11, tier 6 pets have been unlocked. An apple. We know exactly what to do with an apple. We don't care about baboons. Velociraptor gives coconut perk to a random strawberry friend. Please. Uh, there's no way we're figuring that out. A melon is kind of an interesting thing. It, you get to take 20 less damage one time. I think that's kind of interesting, okay? I don't know. Call me crazy. I'm just making sure that we get stuff. I think it's better to take stuff rather than not take stuff. That being said, I'm completely rolling here and not taking a croissant. Uh, he might not make it to level three, but we're going to try. If you gain a perk, you get some stuff. I mean, meat bones, maybe we'd toss them on if we had the gold for it. We could, we could toss some more melon, you know? We're going to go for the melons. We're going to go with melons. We're just not getting apples. You know how insane this would be if we've done, if we got the apples? If we were getting like two, three apples a turn, we'd be like so much stronger. It would be insane. Let's do a speed run of this game. Brother, this is my second ever game of <laughs> Super Auto Pets. I'd say it's going pretty well. I'd say it's going pretty well. I'm not going to say, though, that I'm ready to speed run this game. <laughs> but I'm... I'm working on it. Just get leveled for some reason. Wait, what? How did you end up? Oh, every turn it like randomly flips them. Wait, that's funny, but I can just put them back. Oh, they finish in like the turn that they were just in or something. All right, we're getting a lot of melons. It seems that the game thinks that they want me to have melons. So joke's on you. I'm meloning up my whole team. We're going giant melon squad, okay? We don't get apples, but every you get a melon, you get a melon, you get a melon. Everyone's got a melon. If you're in front, though, take this croissant. My fish has moved to the front. I find it humorous. I will allow it. Another strong team. This is going to be close. I think we got them covered here. I think our numbers are just a little bit bigger. We had a few more apples. We got a few more melons on our side. We're going all the way. Wow, wait. I'm crazy at this game. You guys had no idea, and I had no idea either. I'm kind of crazy at this game, man. This is going to go to my head if we do this well this early on. Not gonna lie. I mean, when in Rome, we go straight up full melons. Okay, everybody got your armor on? All right, get back into position. <laughs> Don't let that Komodo Drago doing it. Are you playing against the computer? I hope not. I'm in arena. I got the weekly. I hope I'm not playing computers. Is it, Are you saying that's the only way? Have I been playing computers this whole time? I hope not. 
I hope I'm playing real people. <laughs> maybe I maybe I've beaten up on computers. I'm playing like the Martin of chess, and I think that I'm like a grandmaster now at the game. I've just been playing Martin the whole time. Look, that guy defeated me. Strong computer there. I could melon you. Call me an idiot. It will replace the croissant. We're going full melon armor, okay? That's the only way we roll. Give friends behind extra. You go in front, you go here, you go here. That's the order of things. We're, we're committed to our team till the day we die. Get some extra stuff. Who do we want to be strong? Seal? Or whatever, what are you? Sea lion? Keep up the great work, buddy. We, we're gonna save a little bit of chocolates. I don't know who that's for. It's, for. it's for the polar bear. Let's keep going. How's it going, Golden Roger? Good to have you with us. Let's get this popping off. Here we go, going up against the small planets. They got a couple couple big troops, a good balanced team, but so do we. They got a 50, it was doing 50 damage, but we got so many melons. Yo, melon armor is so, is so goaded. Here you go, you get buffed. Someone else is also getting buffed here. I don't know why chess is a forbidden term around here. I understand why it should be. I mean, obviously chess should be a forbidden term, but it shouldn't be blocked by the by the mod, by the bot. All right, there we go. We don't need any more melon armor. This is our team. We're going back out again. Uh, it all Everything always gets flipped around, but this looks good. No, this is our order. <laughs> we just get flipped around every turn. Walrus is doing some amazing stuff for our team today. Let's see if it can do it yet again. We I, I see some big numbers. We got some big numbers. We, they got some huge numbers. This one's going to be close. The melons, every single person gets two hits because of the melons. And that's what's kind of saving us. Come on. Very strong worm. Am I going to start streaming chess? No. <laughs> Exclaim why in the chat to know why. Uh, here we go. We're, this is it. We need to just win this. And we win our first game of Super Auto Pets ever. Let's go again. Let's do one of these. And you know what? All the way to level three. You didn't think at the start of this turn that I was going to have a level three, but yet I do. This is it. To win it all. To win it all. Can we win a game of Super Auto Pets? This is my first time playing ever. Here we go. It all comes down to this. I think we got it. I think we're going to make it. I think we get past. I think we make it. Ah, okay, we gotta try again. <laughs> we got two more lives to try to get this one last trophy. Uh, give me some apples. We're literally just rolling for apples here. We're not, we're looking for matches. We're looking for, you know what? Might as well put one of these on. Jerobo is almost maxed out of his health here. Get that on the fish. Make sure we order this. What's my order? Can you stop messing up my order, you silly Komodo? We go here. We're not going to mess around with a cow this late. We're not going to get involved with any of that. Give a, a pepper perk. We're not doing any pepper. We don't. We might make it to the next round. I suppose we keep this. There's nothing we're going to be able to buy. So that is it. We freeze the apple. All right. We finally get an apple at the time where it might not work. How do I allow the word chess? Who banned the word chess? <laughs> it's fine, you can, I quit chess, but we can talk about it. It doesn't have to be like weird. You're, the mods are the ones making it weird out here, bro. We can talk about it. Oh, Manjaro made it so you can't even see, the, you can't even say chess. Don't even talk to me about chess in this stream, okay? We're never doing chess again. We're super auto pets now. This is our life. This is what we do now. It's sad, but this is what we do now. Take this apple. Call me in the morning. Uh, there's no reason. He's already at max. This will slightly max your stat a little bit. I don't know. Just take that. Just take that. Uh, we got all the melons. We got some big, healthy boys up here. What? What are we not doing? <laughs> what are we not doing? We're not doing chess. What are we not doing? We're not doing chess. Here we go. This is the team. This is the squad. This is make or break. This is win or lose. We got a humongous team. Look at this. You see how many 50s I see? Nothing sad about Sap. Well, seeing, you know, I, I understand if, if you compare the numbers between the chess streams and the Sap, some people might be sad, but stay. 
Excited. This is it. Make or break. Make or break. Taking them down. We have done it. We have won the weekly in two tries. And we won the game on turn 18. A fully max scaled team. I hope you like this. Let me know if this goes on YouTube. If you do want more Super Auto Pets. Because I'm here to try it for a while. If you're here to watch it.